Where is the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? I only ask because as I type this, I can hear my roommate snoring from his seat on the toilet. One step away from going full Elvis Presley. I silently dubbed him, the king, when I first heard him snoring. On a tractor while plowing a field. I was doing night shifts during the summer and decided to get some extra hours in during the day. So I was tired when doing, my actual shift. I switched on the tractor's GPS and set it to give me a signal 50 meters before the field ended to wake me up to turn around. The fields were about 1,200 meters long so it did about 10 minutes of sleep before having to turn around again. Think how surreal it would be for someone standing on the edge of the field to watch a tractor plowing the ground with a sleeping tractorist inside. I enjoy the word tractorist. During a job interview, he actually had to shake me awake. Weirder yet, I still got the job. You were hired for that power move. Look them in the eyes while sleeping and assert dominance. When I was a kid, like five or six, there was a tree in the front yard I really liked climbing. There was a branch perfectly shaped for little me to lie down on. Early one morning, I woke up and decided to take my sleeping bag up the tree and went back to sleep. Okay that sounds lovely. Homemade tree, hammock, thud. Well that just means you get even more sleep. Win win. In college, I took a cognitive neuroscience course that involved design experiments to be carried out in an MRI and how to analyze the brain images afterwards. As part of the course, we all carried out our studies and I volunteered to be participant for a few. When I went to get in the MRI, the tech said I couldn't wear my sweatshirt in due to the metal near the aglets. So she got me a blanket to keep warm as and to keep my head propped at the right angle. They gave me a stack of pillows. I definitely unintentionally fucked with someone's data by falling asleep mid-study. Yay live with a cognitive neuroscientist drives them crazy when this happens have to throw out the whole trial and time in an fmri is expensive af edit love to live but technically do that too i fell asleep one time waiting before a medical procedure they had to wake me up so that i could sign paperwork permitting them to put me to sleep oh the irony on the bus standing up in my defense it was a traffic jam and i hadn't slept the previous night hey i applaud you for this one Last time I stood on the bus, I fell over so many times underneath the car while doing an oil change. This actually sounds kind of nice. Until someone gets in and starts the thing. To be fair, it won't be on long. At the dentist in the middle of drilling without any anesthesia. Woke up to dentist trying to tell me to open my mouth more. Edit. For those wondering why no anesthesia. I have very high pain tolerance and I dislike how local anesthesia feels. That's not what you want to be hearing when waking up. Speak for yourself. On a hedge at the end of my road. Dad wasn't too pleased at driving past his pissed up son sleeping in a hedge on his way to work. On a hedge or in a hedge. Quite a difference. One is much funnier. Over the hedge. In the back of an ambulance. I'm the paramedic. Your ailment bores me. Wiz Khalifa concert. Everyone was so high. I fell asleep for a few minutes standing up and the crowd was so thick I didn't even fall over. I slept through Metallica. I woke up for their last song or two. I was so bummed. Edit. For those asking how, when I get too drunk I don't puke. It just becomes sleepy time. Not sure if I should be mad at you for wasting a Metallica ticket or sympathetic to you because you Missed a Metallica concert. Bathroom floors. Standing up. In the middle of eating. I have narcolepsy so I can see pretty much anywhere. Not always by choice. I am currently trying to not fall asleep in a hospital cafeteria and thought you meant all of those. At once. What were you doing eating in a bathroom? Quote. I think I am gonna take a nap on this table. Since I obviously need it. Even worse, I imagined all three at once and didn't even question it. I think I need a nap as well. 
same and I am not even tired or am I IDRK is half past 22 only WTF on someone else's wife's shoulder. I feel like there's a story there. I was 19 going somewhere in a bus this woman in her late 20s Saturday beside me. I didn't know when I had started sleeping on her shoulders. Woke up to her giggles, kind of her to become my pillow. I had something similar happen. Was on a return flight for a work trip. And during the boarding process, the young woman next to me was at the tail end of a rough sounding phone call. Finalizing a breakup, she apologized to me when she got off the phone. Kind of brushing it off as I got problems, as it was an emotional call. I shrugged it off, thinking she didn't need my judgment, and afterward laid my head against the window, and tried to force myself asleep. Within a few minutes, she kind of thunked into my shoulder. I thought about it for a sec, figured maybe that's what this person needed in this exact moment, and rolled with it. She woke up at the destination, apologized and thanked me for not being awkward about it. I was picturing you falling asleep while sitting on a married woman's shoulders. And I was very confused. I too have slept in the arms of another man's wife and he stood there and just smiled at us. Love you mom and dad. One night, for no particular reason, I was feeling extremely anxious. My mother-in-law offered me a Xanax. It was about 7pm and a few days before Christmas. We were at her house doing the family thing. I took the Xanax and after about 15 minutes started feeling relatively calm Monsieur or not really. Thinking about it, I grabbed a beer from my father-in-law, who didn't know I'd taken a Xanax. Finished it, decided to have one more. I went outside to smoke and was lying across the hood of my car. In retrospect, I was already pretty out of it. I don't normally lay on cars. Anyway, I finished smoking and turned on my iPad and just started doodling while lying back. Kinda propped up by the windshield. That's all I remember. The next thing I knew it was after midnight. My iPad was lying in the driveway. Shattered. And my mother-in-law and wife were shaking me awake in a total panic. Apparently I straight passed out mid-sketch and dropped my iPad and just sat there in their front. Yard fully unconscious, laying across my car, don't drink if you take Xanax, kids, was across town on a job with a few other guys, after we had finished they had a couple beers, I was underage still so passed, one gives the guy the first road with a couple Xanax and called him a pussy for only taking one, so the asshole took both right before we left, stubborn ass would not hand over keys since he only had one beer, scariest ride ever he wouldn't fucking stop but couldn't stay awake screamed at him for the 10 minutes he drove almost hitting rails and other cars finally got him to stop by offering to buy a jack-in-the-box fucker missed entrance and drove over the curve and through their rocks and bushes in the drive through line at a stop i put truck in park and took the keys kicked his ass out the truck somehow he got to passenger side and got in I got us some big cheeseburgers and headed back to the shop. Couple minutes into the drive I look over and the cheeseburger is in his lap missing one giant bite. And his face is covered with ketchup and mustard while he snores. Had to drop him off at his house and lock his truck up at a vacant building near our shop we took. Care of. TL. Doctor worked with assholes. Life saved by cheeseburger. In a crawl space when I was a technician for a laboratory. Here in Germany, nobody has crawl space. I only know crawl spaces from horror stories are real serial killer material. So they are linked like this in my head. I'd probably never close my eyes if I ever was in one. Techno party with my head on top of a big ass speaker. Same here but under a speaker. Woke up at like 11 a.m. when the floor was closed. Went to the other floor and continued dancing until the club closed in the afternoon. This post is a narcoleptic's wet dray and Monsieur IV slept on the steps of the Opera House in Sydney. In the bathroom of my local pub. Three hours three beers. Under the car. 
whilst milking cows on numerous occasions. Kmart changing room is you're traveling 35 miles per hour on a quad bike. Those are a few. At the moment my weird place is on the floor in our hallway. That's actually pretty frightening. I went to a party and slept in the train on the way back home. But my friend constantly was waking me up. I would be mad if he did that. So when the train stopped at the last station he left without me. Drunk and I did not really know him. So this nice cute lady waked me up when the train was empty. I thought it was my friend so I yelled something mad and she walked away. Five seconds later I realized it wasn't my friend and I felt so bad. I was once on the train ship drunk. The ride takes like 1, 5 h and let me tell you I was basically asleep when I walked in the train. I talked to some people what station I needed to exit it and fell asleep. The people I talked to didn't bother to wake me up. Instead some nice Arabic guy the first didn't even talk to woke me up. That guy saved me. I would have been 40 kilometers from home at 12.30 am. While doing a school presentation, literally. Okay, but what was the topic? Narcolepsy. During sex. But it turned out I was asleep the whole time and it was actually a dream. Hold up. In the office of a funeral director I was making a sales call to. Years later it dawned on me that he probably thought I would just leave if he made me wait forever. He probably would have boxed you up and put you away if you slept long enough. Thank goodness you made it out alive. At the cinema, it was that Maze Runner movie. My GF was all over it. I didn't like it personally. Happened to me during Inception. That was not the best film to be drifting in and out of sleep while watching. Do you remember how you got here? You might still be dreaming. Hey, you, you're finally awake. My guy did the same thing when we saw Split. On purpose. He woke up 20 minutes later asking questions. On purpose. Are you saying this guy can sleep on purpose anywhere? Even in a cinema? That's incredible. I can sleep everywhere at any time if I want to. Someone's even if I don't want to. I once fell asleep standing up. During high school I had the weirdest relationship with sleep and ended up spending more time in class asleep than awake. One day after not having slept for a few nights in a row I just passed out during pay. Standing up. We were waiting for instructions. I blinked. And suddenly everyone was out in the field doing stuff and I was alone. Teacher see me come to shortly after and informs me that class is over in a few minutes and to just go ahead and get changed again. Reportedly I snored. I usually didn't in the classroom as you're at it because I have another one. One time I fell asleep on the sidewalk outside my dentist's office. I had gotten up way earlier than I had needed to. I had to bus there. Had three hours to kill. And not much money to get breakfast or something. So I went and sat down on some concrete fixtures that made a decent improvised seat. Got annoyed at myself for forgetting to charge my phone. And started changing my seated position frequently before eventually dosing off laying down. Thankfully I awoke but it was to a siren. I was wondering what was going on when a firefighter started talking to me. Somebody thought I was a body or passed out homeless person. Whoops. Made it to my dentist on time and resolved to never be that early to an appointment ever again. Coffin. Unless I'm mistaken and this is an urban myth didn't they used to have bells attached to coffins? Before modern medicine because so many people were buried while they were still alive? Many people are probably still buried alive. Just not in countries that embalm or autopsy. Either process would finish them off or at least wake them up. If they snap out of it just before the process. I recall reading at least two news stories where someone has woken up just before their embalming. In the US. On the deck of a trawler. With a mix of seawater. Fish guts. And crude oil lapping against my makeshift bed. Not weird but dangerous. When I was still in high school I used to work at Starbucks and would open at 4am so I'd have to get up around 3am to drive there. 
Well there were some days where I didn't get to bed on time so while well driving. I'd close my eyes and count to three and then open and correct my driving if I had veered off my lane. And repeat. My logic was, no way could I veer off that bad in three seconds. Mind you, that early there really isn't anyone on the road. Well there was one time I counted to three and my eyes would just not open until it was almost too late. Nothing bad happened but I pulled over, called work and said I'd be five minutes late, took a nap on the side of the highway and went to work. TLDR, due to opening shift at Starbucks, I counted myself to sleep while driving. Oof I feel you on those early shifts. And honestly driving like that sounds terrifying. When you're a young teenager and you're extremely tired, you'll do pretty dumb things. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.